Hello my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your July 11th weekly reading. This is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Virgos, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgos energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. You have the two of swords here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. We're going to grab another deck and take a look at the person that you could be dealing with. But I feel like some of you guys could be feeling like something just isn't going to happen for you. You could just be like in one of those weird... Um, Weird energies. I don't think it's permanent. Guys, keep in mind these are just weekly, you know, weekly energies, right? It just looks like you could be like in a little bit of a frustrated, um, stagnant kind of energy this week where it's like the Two of Swords. It is meant to look uncomfortable. She's sitting on this like, it looks like concrete stone, you know, bench and it, it's it's not a comfortable place to be, right? Um, and it, it's meant to, to look like she's been there for quite some time. So it's kind of getting this like frustrated energy, not being able to see clearly, not being able to see, you know, when something is going to happen for you, when something is going to change for you. You could not be feeling the most confident in this time at this time as well. It just kind of feels like you guys are in a funk. Okay, a little bit of a funk, a little bit of a stale, stagnant, frustrated energy. I feel like something has been delayed, and that is really attributing to contributing, contributing, really contributing to, um, you know, this energy. I feel like there's something here that you guys really want. Some of you guys could be wanting to find your soulmate or your twin flame or get married or have a home um, with a person, you know. Um, some of you guys could just be a home in general. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you guys are looking for a soulmate or looking for your person, you know. Um, and you could feel like this is taking a long time or you feel like it's delayed. And it, it could just be making you feel very frustrated, okay. Some of you guys need to put yourselves out there a little bit more with this energy, Um you know, their kid, you could be feeling a little bit, um, I don't say antisocial, but like not feeling like going out much. I feel like it's, it's, I feel like it's because of this, you know, funky energy that you're in, but I almost feel like it's counterproductive because, you know, I feel like you guys aren't, you know, being very social or aren't wanting to really go out and do anything or, you know, that kind of thing, which is really making it more difficult for you to meet somebody. But the other Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, you feel like something is taking a long time. I feel like you're just getting frustrated, but I do feel like you're about to experience some kind of a breakthrough here, okay? You're kind of being asked to put yourself out there a little bit more. We have the Two of Wands here that could be stepping out of a comfort zone. Okay, so there may be some kind of comfort zone that you guys are being asked to step out of, but I do feel like you are, you know, you are about to have a breakthrough with that Ace of Swords. So let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with here, or will be dealing with, maybe. Yeah, because I think like you guys want that. You want that. That's your true intention is this Ace of Cups. You're wanting to find the right person, somebody that you connect with on a deep and meaningful spiritual kind of a, a way, you know, your person, somebody that you can have that, like, end game with, right? You're fine, trying to find the strength to, you know, wait. It just feels like it's taking forever. Oh, the sun card flipped around. Let's just see. Show me the person that Virgo will be dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Virgo? Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Virgo, please? Ooh. I'm dropping cards out everywhere. Some of you guys could have a Scorpio coming in for you. An Aries.
possibly a Capricorn as well. Some of you guys may be having somebody come back around or having somebody try to come back around. I was really hoping we were going to pick up on some new energy, but I, I just feel like there's somebody here that is, you know, somebody here is still holding on to you. They have not been able to, you know, move on from the past. They could be in a very low, kind of depressing type of an energy. You know, I definitely feel like they're still holding on to this. The two of wands in the reverse, they're not ready to move forward. They're not ready to, you know, move on. That They don't want to. They don't want to move on. Um, you have the three of wands here for their true intention. So that's like hope, sending a message out. That's future thinking. You know, it could be like waiting as well, um, waiting for the right time. You have the five of cups. So they're definitely in a very depressing kind of a low um grieving energy and i feel like they don't even want to move on so, so some of you guys have been like trying to not go back to the past some of you guys are just ready to move forward ready to find something new and you know getting kind of frustrated and then you have somebody over here who's still really really holding on to you guys we're going to start to clarify and see what's going on here tell me about this Tell me about the Six of Swords in the reverse, the Ace of Swords. So you are going to be experiencing some kind of breakthrough. So don't give up on this yet. Don't just, don't give up. Even if you, even though, you know, this past person coming back around is not what you, what you guys are wanting. This breakthrough energy keeps coming through. You have it twice. It's coming through because Spirit does not want you to give up. Tell me about this Four of Wands. Like, this stuff did not come up for no reason, okay? The Seven of Cups, I do feel like you're going to be having some options come in. I feel like you're going to have one, more than one option. I'm actually going to focus on new energy in a minute and pull because I feel like I'm supposed to with this energy. I haven't done that for the other signs, but so. but um, I just feel like I'm supposed to, and that's why we're going to do it. But Ace of Swords here. Yes, there is something coming in, maybe an Earth sign. Yeah, Earth, Scorpio, those are what's standing out to me. Heavy Aries, even as well. So, yeah, Spirit does not want you to give up. I feel like this, and it's really pushing because I feel like the reason why this past person is coming up, I feel like you guys are not interested in taking this past person back, but I do feel like it could be very, it could be like that one little thing that wants to push you over the edge. It could be very, very frustrating for you with the strength card and the six of cups that you're sitting here wanting something new and all that keeps coming up is this past stuff that you just don't want. Um, and it could just be a very frustrating energy. Um, but spirit does not want you to give up because you are about to experience a breakthrough. I feel like you're going to have more than one option. So we're going to take a look at this energy real quick, but I'm not worried about it because I feel like you're not worried about it. Tell me about this three of wands. Yeah, the page of pentacles. So they could be reaching out. That's what they could be sending out is a message and offer some kind of offer here. Tell me about the five of cups, but you don't trust them. Seven of swords in the reverse. They could be reaching out with an apology, but you don't trust them here. I feel like that's, they're getting kind of denied and shut down. So I do feel like you could be hearing from a past person and I feel like you guys are turning them down because you just don't trust them. And I feel like they're kind of taking that hard, but they're going to be okay. But they're at this energy where they have to start to work on themselves. I mean, you can't be responsible for, you know, this person. They don't even want to move on. So until they start to deal with some of that stuff, you know, they're not, they're not going to find the peace that they need. So we're just going to pray for them. Now, I want to grab another deck and take a look at your the new energy. Show me... This, tell me what this breakthrough is about for Virgo. Tell me what this breakthrough is all about for Virgo. Why is this coming up? The King of Wands. I do feel like you guys could be being called to take some kind of action here, especially because you have the Queen of or the Queen of Wands up here too, but in the reverse. So you could have um, a divine counterpart trying to come in, but you could need to put yourself out there more for some of you. Um, for others of you, you just need to gain more confidence and understand that you are worthy of whatever kind of relationship you want that you absolutely can have it believing that you can and believing that you're worthy of it is 
three quarters of the battle, my loves. Um, you know, some of you guys are getting frustrated, but there is a breakthrough here. You guys could just be asked to step out of a comfort zone. You are very attractive. You People see you as very attractive. People see you... Um, you know, a lot differently than I feel like you guys are seeing yourself. Some of you guys could be experiencing some um, self-esteem stuff that needs to be worked on, some self-worth stuff that needs to be worked on. You're being asked to kind of step out of that. You're being asked to embrace a new and more confident energy. You're being asked to put yourself out there more and, and step out of a comfort zone. I feel like you guys are being called to action here. Show me any new people, new energies coming towards Virgo, please. Show me new energies coming towards Virgo. Their Ace of Swords, again, you've had it three times in three different decks. So there is a new energy coming through. There is a breakthrough coming through. And you're going to recognize it right away with that energy. King of Pentacles, this is somebody that you could be with for the very long term. Like I said, a potential Earth sign here. Um, and it's something that will progress. But in a very solid way. So it's not something that's going to be um, like rushing and like all... Like, I don't know, what's the word I want to use there? Um, I guess the word I'm trying, the word that's coming to mind is flimsy, but I don't know if that's actually the word I want to use. But, you know, fragile, something that's like starts fast and ends fast. It's not going to be like that. It's something that is going to progress because you're going from the knight to the king, but it's something that's going to progress in a very solid way stable secure kind of a way with it being the pentacles energy this is definitely somebody that will be in your life for the long term so spirit does not want you to give up because you are almost there you are almost about to experience that breakthrough and that's why all of this is coming up so don't be deterred because i feel like some of you guys this past person coming in after you've been trying to so hard to manifest something new is like what the f you know like why like why why you know i feel like that's the kind of energy that you're in but spirits like don't don't give up because of this situation don't give up because of this situation you're about to experience a breakthrough and, and everything that you guys have been trying to create is here you're just being called to take some kind of action to embrace some confidence and to if there are some deeper self-esteem things or self-worth things there's you know that needs to be looked at on an internal kind of a level the six of cups yeah i feel like some things from your past, whether it's like childhood stuff, childhood traumas, abandonment stuff, um, you know, bullying stuff for some of you guys could have been bullied as children. Um, I also feel like there could have been things from past relationships. Some of you guys could have been in a space where somebody was really, um, you know, they cheated on you or they, they used harsh words or put you down and that could be still affecting you. There's some deeper things that need to be looked at here. Okay. But we are going to see what your biggest challenge is in this situation. We are going to see what you don't see coming and then some advice. So what is the biggest challenge in this situation for Virgo? Ooh, let's see what flipped around. Wow. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. So you, your biggest challenge is to put some up. There needs to be some kind of action for sure, especially with the Six of Pentacles coming up. There could be you being asked to give a little bit more to the situation. Um, some of you guys could be manifesting a Taurus specifically with this energy here. But it's just believing and knowing that you have all the power to make this happen, that you have all the power to create whatever it is that you want here. You just have to put the effort in to do it. And you have to kind of put yourselves out there. You guys, there is some things, stuff that you are being called to look at. This is what you don't see coming. The Ace of Pentacles, something very solid here. There is a brand new opportunity coming in. So don't give up yet and don't let this past person trying to come back deter you. What advice do we have? The Hierophant. And the Two of Pentacles. I really do like this. I feel like you guys are being asked to... How do I want to put this? Um, recommit to yourself. Okay, recommit to your dream, recommit to your vision, recommit to like the inner child even, you know, recommit to healing some of that deeper stuff. I feel like that's something that you guys are being asked to work on because it's almost like getting you prepared for, you know, the two of pentacles is Jupiter and Capricorn and that is all about expand, Jupiter is all about expansion. I feel like your life is about to expand, you're about to be, especially with the hair font here, you know, going to a higher level of commitment and you're kind of being asked to not take some of this baggage with you to that place. And that looks like, you know, clearing out some of that self-esteem stuff or the triggers or the, the reasons why they're there in the first place. But that is what I have for you guys. So if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus 
will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.